family was one of the most respected in Jerusalem. Welcome home. Please, I need you to tell me who one's enemies are. Masala, I won't name names. Until we were betrayed. <laughs> by my own brother. Masala! You know we've done nothing wrong. Rome's calling for blood. Crucified. No! This was a very big part for you. It was. And I can imagine, I mean, it must have been strenuous and hard and a lot of skills to learn. So tell me how you prepared. I was very lucky. So there was a great deal of, of new skills to learn, such as the chariot racing, <laughs> the sword fighting. But the lucky thing about a huge movie like this, or, or any movie, generally you come into contact with the best of the best. Yeah. You come into contact with the people who are the absolute premium. And on this, we had the best horses. We had the best people from four different countries. You know, we had Spanish, Hungarian, Italian, and English people together teaching us from scratch. So we learned with one horse, we moved to two horses, we moved to four horses. And each time it was, it was as nerve wracking as the last. So doing one horse, you got used to it and you're like, okay, I've got this, I figured it out. But it doesn't translate really to two horses. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't translate really to four horses, but it's the progression you have to go through. Did you grow up with horses? Uh, I wish horses? I had. I wish I'd grown Jack up with horses. Jack said he, he was. Well, Jack, yeah. yeah. He, he said he'd yeah. grown up with them. And Jack has a very equestrian yeah. riding style. When he, when he rides, he has yeah. this little <laughs> fancy bob. I was like, what's going on here? Because but, in uh, the beginning of the movie, yeah. the race between you and, and, and Jack yeah. looks very dangerous. And it was a real race. Yeah. I had a very fast horse, he wow. had a very fast horse. We were being driven next to a, a Mercedes that goes hundreds of miles an hour, so we went as fast as we possibly could because it, it needs to be dynamic, it needed to be dramatic. This is the first time we don't have to speed up the film in the edit, you know, we can do it at full speed. Wow. That's the beauty of the technology. It's not CGI, it's just yeah. the weight of the camera. Yeah, yeah, and you can tell. Good. There is a difference. Good. That's yeah. very kind, good. good. Um, Talk a little bit about your character. Who is he? And who was the grandfather? Actually, you know, tell me about this. Well, so, Marsala is a very young, ambitious man when we first meet him, and he lives in a very privileged house. But he doesn't have that sense that really, how could they ever love him? He's not their blood. Misguided, but that's really what he believes. So he needs to prove himself. Furthermore, he has a grandfather. Yeah. Who is the great? Maximus Severus was, in the book it's explained that he made a judgment against Rome for the oh. people and that's why Marsala was adopted by the, the Ben-Hur family. family. So because he stood up for their rights, mm -hmm. uh, he was considered a traitor. Right. And so... So that's on his shoulders. That's on his shoulders. So he knows he needs to go and join the Legionnaire because really he feels like he needs to do something that he feels is powerful, but of course it's just forceful. Joining war and battle is the force, you feel that force, but it's instant. So he goes off to war, he tries to, he's constantly reminded of his grandfather's treacherous name. So it doesn't work out for him, but he figures if he can get back to the her palace with this power and money, then he can be respected so he can stand side by side with Judah and people can respect them, but of course that's what leads him to make the terrible mistake he makes. So it's sort of a, a journey of ambition and selfishness yeah. uh, that, that kind of lead him to, to, to bad behavior. Did you love the character? I did, yeah. Yeah, I truly did. What did you love most about him? I loved most that it was, it was mistakes he was making. Mm -hmm. He was just misguided. Really, although he had great people around him, this Pontius Pilate, these powerful people, yeah. there were no real guides for him. No one's really looking out for him, right. except for him. And perhaps he obtusely blocked it. Mm -hmm. But really, Marsala was, was that misguided person. Of course, really where he gains his fame and where he's happiest is chariot racing. Mm -hmm. So he becomes the pride of Rome. He becomes very, very happy sitting in this position. And with that comes a level of calmness. He can f let go a bit of the past mm -hmm. until Judah, of course, comes, turns mm -hmm. back up. And then his shame comes back, and so on and so forth. And that's the battle, that's the interesting right. part. Yeah. 